All right, got to go to my favorite part, the Super Coach. Absolutely gutted that it's almost done. This is the last game of the season between the Thunder and the Renegades. So we're going to have a look at the best Super Coach players between those two sides. Probably haven't been the best performing sides, obviously, the last two teams. So you're not picking too many of their players in Super Coach, but there's still a couple that you can pick for the last round, uh, uh, for the last game, if you want to just make a last minute trade just to get yourself over the line in a final or anything like that. I absolutely bowed out in the final, so I'm not in. I, I don't know about your team, Leo. Are you still kicking around? No, I think I think I've uh, crashed out of finals. Unfortunately, it was a very poor season by my lofty standards. Oh, your lofty standards! All right, we'll have to uh, have a look into the archives for Leo's lofty <laughs> standards. Uh, all right, who are you picking? I think it's a Renegades player that's done pretty well the last couple of weeks. Yeah, a killer saying. So he scored uh, seventy four in his first game. He's at two hundred fifteen thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, what I like about him is that he can bowl at any time and be a wicket-taking option. He can bowl the first over of the game. He can bowl middle overs. He can bowl power surge. He can even bowl at the death. He's a really, really crafty bowler. Can bat as well as a late-order batsman, but it's his bowling for me that I'm really impressed by. Gets really good drift into the batsman and is always threatening both edges of the bat, so the outside edge with spin the inside edge with the one that goes straight on. So I really I really like him here to, to back it up and just put in there that the Gades need to get him back next season because he Ooh. he was good for him last season, but he's one that I think is sort of that all-rounder type that they're missing, that bowling all-rounder. So yeah. I think him and Zampa years going forward would be a very good spinning combination. So just, uh, I'm just trying to put that out into the universe so the Gades can, <laughs> uh, the Gades can do that. Oh, yeah. Hopefully some people that work at the Gates uh, listen to that. Don't pick any more old blokes that uh, are a bit cooked. Uh, so we, we just a, pick an all-young team. Why not? Because most of the young guys are the ones carrying the Renegades. You've got, you got the Rooster, Fraser McGurk, and Sutherland. Asain's a little of, he's still a pretty experienced player, but a bit younger than uh, guys that are retiring. So I really yeah, I really like that one. For Supercoach as well, he could be a bit of a pod in the, like, heading into the last game, the people, point of difference that people don't have. Uh, I'm going to get into Alex Hales. I'm talking up an Englishman, so I don't know how I feel about that. But he's had an underrated season, I think. I feel like I was bagging the Thunder, but every, everyone around him in their batting lineup seems to crumble. He, but he's been re- really solid. Averaging 29 with the bat at 140 strike rate. Not bad at all. Uh, and he's having an underrated season in Supercoach. Five-round Supercoach average of 70. Averages 74 against the Gades in Supercoach across his career. That's seven matches. He just loves tearing up the, the Renegades, and I think he's going to do it again tonight. I feel like, yeah, the Renegades bowling attack has been... Very, very uh, awful this season. Awful this season. Tom Rogers, I feel like he's almost done. I, I think it, last season or the season before, he was one of the best bowlers in the league. And I, I don't know what's going on with him. There's a few other bowlers as well that I just don't trust for the renegade for the renegades to get Hales out. So 154,000, I think he's a great last option in your super coach team just to get you over the line. I reckon he's going to have a huge score of over 100 in super coach uh, tonight. So that's my pick for the renegades thunder. All right, let's get into the predictions for this one. Renegades Thunder. Uh, is it Renegades home game? Is that correct? Uh, I'm not too oh, sure, right actually. I'm, I'm going to just double check that while we do that. But who who are you picking for this one, Leo? Yeah, I'm going to going to tip the Gades here. Uh, it's a it's a really tough game to tip just because they've both been really really bad this season. Yeah. I think for me. The Gades bowling has been their main letdown, but the Thunder batting has been their main letdown. Like, they haven't fired at all, even with Warner in the team. Like, they, mm. have, they have a top three of Warner, Hales, and Bancroft and still can't make over 130. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that's where the Gades will sort of restrict them in that regard, like with the ball and keep them to a low score. And I think the Gades batting, it'll it'll probably fall on Fraser McGurk again to, to make a 40-odd and, yeah. and and get them home. But yeah, as I said, tough game to tip because they've, they've been really bad, both these teams this season. I know. Yeah, uh, I'll lean towards the Renegades as well, just because they've been slightly better. Obviously on the ladder, you got seventh of the Renegades with five points. They've got the worst, oh, one of the worst net run rates. Actually, it be, might be tough for the Thunder to have to get a, uh, decent win to go above the Renegades. But yeah, I'm going to slightly go them. It's in Sydney, this match, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check that on the uh, match report. Oh, Giant Stadium. So yeah, in Sydney, uh, out there, yeah, Giant Stadium near the showground. So 
yeah, usually you go, oh, maybe a little bit of uh, lenience towards the home side, but they they can't win anywhere at the moment, the Thunder. So I'm going to lean towards the gauge as well. I, I really hope they finish off with a, with a win. I think our season predictions weren't too far off as well. We had the Renegades down the down towards the bottom. We got roasted online. So let us know. We might have to go yeah through the archives of the podcast and uh, see if our season predictions, bit of egg on our face for a couple of them. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Well, I'm just interested to see if the Heat can uh, go all the way. We can get a clip of you, Leo, uh, Talking out, talking down the heat. That'd be pretty funny. Well, well, I I make the clips, so I'll make sure that the, that doesn't see the light of day. I'm gonna uh, get on YouTube right now, I reckon, and uh, <laughs> learn how to uh, chuck up some social. Clip. I should actually, I should be, I should be able to do that. So, so I can get some uh, clips about you. Just a just a compilation or a, or a compilation, as Alex would say, on the, on uh, football today. Check that out, Ooh. football today. Are you on the football today pod?